So here when we put 866.6 megahertz uh, frequency and we put the power level of okay we will change it from 10 to 15 dBm so since the modulation is on so it's <coughs> 16 dBm will pass and if we turn off the modulation then we see 15 to 15 so when we then turn on the modulation <coughs> it's 16 dBm is going so this cable from the uh, vector signal generator is connected to the uh, splitter which has a 60 pin insertion loss and then this cable is basically going to this oscilloscope one port and another port is going from here to this transmitting antenna and we put the tag here and then we have a receiving antenna here which is once again connected to the channel 2 of the oscilloscope so now we press the auto set or to see from the beginning so we don't know exactly uh, which scale it is right now so we will try to change the scale So seems that at nanosecond it start giving some sort of signal to us. Okay, and we have to check the trigger setup. Okay, the signal is coming from <coughs> channel two source, and if we use external trigger, we can see that the signal that is coming from the vector signal generator it's easily visible here okay so this is the signal we get using the external trigger and we if we just reduce power the 4 millivolt so here we can see that this is from here to here is the actual signal that is coming from the vector signal generator to the oscilloscope and we can see here that from here to here there is a fluctuation and that is the tag backscatter so we can try with taking the tag out from here so now we see there is no backscattering and once again if we put the tag we can see a, a clear backscatter 